Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Thanks for checking out the video today. So we have a lot of people coming in, they're upgrading their cars, they're getting iDrive 8.5, getting iDrive 9, and they're wondering a couple things. They're wondering, why do my heated seats automatically turn on? Why does the heated steering wheel turn on? How do I adjust this? You know, what's going on? So one thing I wanna show you is in iDrive 7, that was a nice feature. It was part of something called Automate Habits. And if we go into our menu, we do have Automate Habits. It actually might not be in this particular car because, yes it is. So actually, no it's not. That's what I was getting at. So since we're not logged in with the BMW ID, it's not gonna show us everything, but that's that doesn't matter anyway because it's not in there. So a lot of people go into Automate Habits, they don't find it and they wonder, well, what's going on? How do I control it? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the fan, which is your climate control settings, and we're gonna go into your individual settings. And here it is, uh, magically under driver, you're going to have all of this function pop up showing you automatically um, to have your heated seats turn on the medium level. Uh, this is also a toggle switch to have heat surfaces uh, linked to the seat. That's the heated armrests. And uh, certain vehicles, it really depends on the hardware and the seat you have, is the uh, seat heating distribution. So in this particular example, we have an equal distribution of heat uh, back to the bottom of the seat. Uh, if you would prefer to have it more towards the back of the seat, you can always uh, push that over to that direction. We're not done though. Uh, we're going into the automatic steering wheel. Same idea. Automatic AC seat. Well, we're in a seven series, so this, this is not ventilated seats. It's truly air conditioned seats in this car. That's why there's a snowflake, not just like a fan, but you can also uh, control that as well. And this is the seat cooling uh, distribution as well down there. So very, very cool. Uh, front passenger, you can do the same. Second row of seats, uh, you're really not adjusting that for them. You're just adjusting the actual uh, climate that's going on back there. Uh, this is kind of more the focus of what you're doing. But a lot of people couldn't find this. Uh, and I will say it does take a little bit of time because we don't really go under, we think individual settings, maybe individual settings for climate, for you know literally what we have up here but it's uh, something that has been uh, overlooked as well. So keep that in mind, in climate control when getting in, uh, that is checked off. So that that is a good feature that you want to, because you want it to automatically start uh, when the doors are opened. And of course, when your passenger leaves. So you always want to make sure the climate is on and ready to go to accommodate uh, you and uh, whoever is traveling with you as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, my name is Chris. Thank you for taking the time to check out the video. Please make sure you check out the link down below. That brings you to the Amazon uh, storefront for Chris's Beamers. A lot of great BMW products and accessories that I use for my BMWs. I recommend you use for yours. That is all down there in the storefront. Please keep in mind any purchase made from the storefront. Chris's Beamers does earn commission on. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can always stay up to date with the latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.